guys. I'm just going to be doing my um, Mac friends and family haul very quickly. Um, here's my box. Um, first and foremost, I wasn't going to buy this product, and I am so happy I did because I want like three more. It's the, um, the MAC, the Naked Honey Skin Cells, and it's this right here. As you can tell, I got this last night in the mail. Look at how much I already used. Um, I've been putting this on, like, my elbows, I put it on my lips, and I also put it on the heels of my feet, and I really like the smell of it. It's not overwhelming. It's very, very subtle. I mean, it smells even more strong in the pot than it does when it's on, but I am loving this, and so... Hopefully I can get a couple more before it sells out. I also picked up um, the Bronzescape, the Solar Bits from Style Warriors. I wasn't going to get these either, but watching everybody's video, it kind of intrigued me. And I really think the color, let's try not to make a mess. The color is absolutely gorgeous. Let me swatch a little bit for you. It's like a foiled bronze, and I think it's going to be gorgeous for the summer. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's crazy. And that's without even Fix Plus. Like, with Fix Plus, it'll even intensify the pigment a little bit more. So, I'm happy I got that. I hate the packaging. Like, I wish it was in a smaller, like, pigment jar so it wasn't such a wide lip. But, what are you going to do? Um, I also... Sorry picked up from the Style Warriors the Solar Riche Bronzer. Once again, I thought about getting this when the collection came out, and I just kind of passed it by, and then I was like, eh, 25% off. I don't know how I, I tried to use a little bit of it today. We'll see. I never write anything off the first time I use it, but I'm not super impressed. I also got my first MAC brush. It's the 109. It's the small contouring brush, which is good for, con I use it today for contouring. You could use it as a highlight um, down the nose. I like this brush. Um, I The only MAC brushes I own currently are the special edition ones, and they suck. This brush is definitely really nice. I like it because it's unique, and I heard they were discontinuing it, even though I think it's coming out with a collection coming up. Um, but I do like this. It's very unique. I do. I'm happy with that purchase. Um, I also picked up a 15 palette, um, because I want to, I have a lot of, like, loose shadows just in a container, and I kind of just want to start putting them in palettes. These are so much smaller than I thought they were, but I also picked up three pan eyeshadows. I picked up nylon, shale, and sketch, which are the three colors I have on today as well. And I think this is probably going to be a green palette, because I have a lot of greens and blues, so I'm probably going to end up moving the, purp the purples out, but... For right now, I just popped them in there. And then... Excuse me. Um, I picked up two lip glasses. I picked up Magnetique, which is from Rose Romance. And I forget why I bought this. This actually looks like a lip color that I already have. Yeah, it kind of looks like Boogie Nights from NARS. And there's one from MAC that I think was my first lip gloss from there. And I absolutely loved it. I'm trying to think of the name of it. It was a really weird name. But it was a fuchsia color. And I think it was a luster gloss. I don't remember. I don't think I can find it. But um, I can't remember the name. But it was my first lip gloss from there. And it's really close. Let me swatch. I'll swatch Boogie Nights. And then Magnetique right next to it. Yeah, it's like almost identical. I don't even know why I bought this. But I'll use it. I love colors like this. So that's Boogie Nights from NARS. And this is Magnetique. So it reminds me also of Fierce and Fabulous, which I also got. Which, let me see if I can find it. I don't even know where that is right now, but that one has more glitter to it, but it's kind of the same color family. And then I also picked up Queen Bee, and this is from um, the Naked Honey collection, and this one's different. It's not like a lot of the lip glosses I own. 
and this is just like a corally, corally peachy color. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And I think that's it. I went through it really quickly. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.